subscribe, love, like. We're sponsored by the Spunk Lube and rebroadcast by the Demon Seed Radio Network. We could not do any of this without you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, please give us that bump. Porn Stars People Podcast. Uh, I'm Dan Franklin and Lexi Luna. Sexy Lexi. Thank you for uh, doing this. You were you were like one of my first interviews. One of the OGs, that, man. Uh, that actually that actually like went good. And I was like, oh, maybe this is a podcast. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna kick right into it and ask you: Did you ever make this grammar porn? I did not. This is a fuck <laughs> I up. Forgot. This is what you've been. This is what oh you haven't accomplished. Oh my gosh! So, uh, so I've added a new component to what I do here, and I've <laughs> and I've and I've come up with a um, with a thing that we do that's like that's a safer work content. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna download an app real quick, see if there's a thing that exists, so that I can do this, so I can do this test thing with you afterwards. Okay. But maybe, but maybe it's not. Maybe there doesn't. Thing. I'm like, no, don't cheat. <laughs> um, so what's been going on? You've you've literally <laughs> moved cities twice since I've. Since I I've have. I lived in Vegas, and now I live in L. A. But I keep an address in Vegas. Okay. So I don't have to pay the taxes in LA. Right. You don't have to say it. There's no reason you needed to say that. Well, on, on you camera. delete that. Delete that. Edit um, the shit. I don't edit. I won't. You know I won't edit. You know I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm sorry. Is, cool. is this safer work? Can yeah, I say the F word? No, you can say the F word. Okay. No, what, what, what words no can't I say? Still no one's listening. So it doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> All right, cool. It's If nobody hears it, then it doesn't <laughs> does happen. Does a tree, does a pope shit in the woods? Yeah. Uh, what are what are your extracurriculars doing this thing? I pretended like I was going to go to all the parties, and you're I'm, I'm not. Na- I'm never going to do it. During this thing, my extracurriculars are literally the white party. That's all I go yeah, to. It's tonight. It's tonight, but I'm only going for the photo, and because it's so loud, and I'm I've never been. I've been up. I don't it's know basically white. it's basically a club environment. Yeah, I see that. It's basically the cup you have is white. You can just wear that. Put just it over your it? penis. Put it up my penis. Put it over your penis, you said, like. Did you say oh, up? I said, my I said <laughs> over. Okay. Play back the tape. <laughs> <laughs> I got evidence. Play it back. Um, yeah, so it's just so much like club environment. No yeah. business really happens there. It's really hard to talk to anybody. Yeah. And I've been up since eight this morning doing stuff. So yeah. I need to go to bed. Yeah. I it starts at know. ten. Yeah. Starts at ten. Yeah. Are you? Um, how do? How do? I don't know how to go. You can, I can just go. <laughs> no, you have to have like a pass. Oh, I fucked up. My agent has badges. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. I Honestly, you could probably just like get your picture taken and pretend you were a cool kid. Yeah, and then but then I leave. literally have to go. I would have to go to TJ Maxx, get a bunch of white shit, and then return it. So I didn't do that. So it's over. Yeah, done. done. It's cash done. Done. Um, I'm going to the awards though, so that's good. Good. Yeah, I'll be there. What um are you up for? I'm not, I haven't done the research. Are you up for stuff? I have a fan nomination for best milf. I think that's the best category. The I fan love stuff. the fan. I am so happy to be nominated that's by the, the whole fans. Point of this thing. Because those are the people who are buying my content. Right. Those are the people who are going to be like there for me. That's the point of the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Is, is to cultivate that fan base. I know a lot of pe- a lot of performers are like, oh, I got nominated for a fan award, boo. And I'm like, but those are the people that, like, that's who matters. Yeah. Even when we spoke, I don't think it was as big of a thing to have all of the subscription shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think the focus was. It was not. And that was just two years ago. This was like, that was like three years ago. Well, don't 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 make me feel that old. No, um, but like we've yeah. really grown together but in this industry. I've really seen you changed. on porn stars for people, and like I see you doing this peddling your podcast. Peddling, peddling. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> but we um, had such a great time. Yeah, hopefully, one day somebody will watch and listen. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's been it's been fun. No, but yeah, but I've been watching you. Yeah, I've been watching you crush it and uh, and and change your your. Oh yeah, you've your, been watching your marketing. Yeah. Well, this is the thing. This is the thing yeah. I learned quickly is that I can't. Um, once I've met the person, you can't watch their porn. I can't watch their porn. That's fair. There's something about, and it's weird because obviously, like, I can jerk off to people who I know who I have fucked, right? Uh-huh. Like, like just like the memory of it. Who they've dated, right? Or even people that I'm currently dating, like uh-huh. they can send me a photo, or whatever. But right. there's something that I, there's some relationship I have with porn where I'm putting my own shit on the girl uh-huh. so having no information about the girl is what makes it hot yeah and Not then when she, you know her you're like ah this isn't hot anymore yeah, because, i care because, about her too much right well because <laughs> because it's because and it's not that and it's not that she's any less attractive right it's that she it's like she's it's a real not person really fair because it's not actually consensual Aww. because she didn't actually send it Aww. does that make sense Fucking lover. <laughs> no, I for sure am. No, you're no, a lover. Sure. No, I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, I've. I've been very vocal on this podcast about the fact that like comedy will get you laid, and I. But I won't fuck the f- the audience. Yeah. I have no interest in that portion of it. I want to. Uh, I'll use comedy as leverage for somebody who likes me at the coffee shop. I'll use it to close the deal. But it's not. It doesn't. I don't want it to be. I don't. If you DM me after a show, can't be about I'm that. Really hard up. Uh, right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna respond to that. There's no. Yeah. There's nothing good that comes from. Right. That. It's like nothing good happens after two a.m. Yeah. That's my that's my rule. I, I I don't chase into the future. It's like you go home. Yeah. Also, Tess has helped. So I've been having this thing, and uh, uh, and I thought it was the desert thing, but I'm starting to maybe realize that when I'm away from my dog, I get ill 
much more often. And I think there's like a psychosomatic like like. Well, if you're ill during AVN, it's probably because there are a bunch of fucking germs in the air because everybody's fucking and but kissing. I've been and here. A how week long? And I'm sick now. That's why. That's why. Because the it's being it's being in this environment. It's so dry. Yeah. It pulls everything out of you. Yes. And you haven't like prepared yourself. You're not drinking enough water. Yeah. You're not taking allergy pills because the allergies here are way fucking different yeah, than anywhere else. Yeah, why is that? Because everything's just dead. Yeah. Everything's dead here. Right. There's no nothing gets retained. Okay. The desert just makes everything just dead. Yeah. I saw it. And it was funny. It was, uh, it was because I'm from the Northeast. I saw it on the highway before. I was like, oh, somebody threw out a Christmas tree. And then I got closer. And it, was, it was a tumbleweed. Yeah, I was a like, tumbleweed. I was really <laughs> excited. But it looked like a Christmas tree in the middle of the night. Uh, but I was like, oh, it must be a tumbleweed. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did a hike and I and uh, um, I did you know I did two hikes, but I did I did one in particular where the next day I was just I was dead for two days. Yeah. Like I had all the ins all my insides dried up. Yep. And you have probably had shin splints too. No, my leg. I got, I got, I got nice legs. Yeah, you got um, nice legs. Legs is all I got. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can't like to the to the to the fact that like this is not a skinny jean. This is like this is what it's. Oh, uh, anyway. I got some meat um, on them bones. Some meat on them bones. <laughs> Look, I'm wearing meat socks. Meat. Oh my god, you yeah. are wearing meat socks. I'm wearing red meat socks. <laughs> I love it. socks. Mm, what? Um, ribeyes. We. I don't know if we ever talked. Do we ever talk food? Are you a f- like? Do you have a particular um, diet that you maintain? I don't. I like food a lot, so yeah. I eat it. That's it. That's the whole. That's, that's the whole plan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, everything in moderation. Honestly, you can have everything. Just don't overdo it on any one thing. Yeah, I think uh, I think that speaks to uh, food. I think it speaks to sex. I think that speaks to yeah. relationships. Absolutely. I think it all the things. Absolutely. I, um, I've been. Uh, what 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 kind of people have you run into since you've been in this business? Oh, so many different types. Because like, you learn a lot when you start to like uh, start to see patterns in people. Yes. This is a particularly flaky group of people absolutely um we might have we might i might have been uh fixated o- uh, on ghosting at the time that we had our first interview because i because my first like three interviews were all like ghost things that like didn't happen mm. well, how do you um have you gotten better at at spotting flaky activity and like nipping it in the yeah, butt? i'd want to say i have but i truly don't think i have because i've also kind of become more flaky okay and that's really frustrating because i was never that person but it's also like Everybody in this industry understands. Right. Everybody understands that you make the best laid plans, right? right. Best laid plans. I'm gonna shoot four days this week. Yeah. It's not gonna fucking happen. Right. Like we all know it's not gonna happen. Yeah. I don't know you why. You didn't even make it to the end of Exotica, if I remember. No, dude, I didn't. I'm like, <laughs> I've, I uh, conventions are starting to stress me out more and more it's, because it's I feel lot. like the expectation is higher and higher. Yeah. And then when when my expectations don't meet reality of like attendance or fans right. coming you know then it's even more frustrating and even more difficult but i just i don't know i feel like i've become flakier but i've also become the type of flake that is okay i'm not gonna like flake on a friend that we made plans and it's like an important thing yeah but i'm gonna flake on like i'm really tired and i'm not gonna do the best content on sunday so maybe i need to cancel sure sunday you yeah. know, I'm like the convention's taking a toll on me. Maybe I should cancel now on Friday so that person has two days to figure yeah. it out. Yeah, so yeah, I've yeah. gotten better about flaking ethically. Sure. <laughs> Ethical flaking. Ethical flaking. I like this. This is good. <laughs> Ethical flaking. Fla- yeah. uh, fleth- flethical. I'm flethical. <laughs> Fleth- I'm very flethical. It just sounds I like have, I have a speech impediment. <laughs> I have flethics. No, I like that. You're going to brand this, aren't you? Yeah, flat. Fuck. All right. Yeah, you make because, thousands because of I dollars. Did, because I, did, I, I came out here a week early on a promise that I was going to be taken care of and no. like and that I could get uh, episodes done. And I got and I got abandoned, literally like abandoned at the airport. Oh. I sorted it. I could feel it before. Yeah. So I sorted myself out. But then I but then the thing is, when you sort yourself out and somebody's being flaky, you still sort of leave it so that like you leave the opportunity for them to not be a shit. I know. So I and that's the worst, because then you're like making giving them an opportunity opportunity to come back in which is fine if they do yeah but, but they never also do. it's not because they, they fucked do. you in the beginning but they never do they never do they never come back no, in you're right and then i'm also because i'm italian and weird i don't i'm not i'm not very susceptible to um like 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 one to ten a five um apology i won't accept oh. you have to give me a real it's apology. gotta be real and yeah. heartfelt yeah, yeah. And i have a hard time right apologizing words. do you have a hard time Why apologizing? Is no i'm i'm good at apologizing unless unless what's happening is we're challenging the 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 discussion of what the the thing that that was wrong is because sometimes you end up in a situation we go okay cool i completely understand where you're coming from and i apologize for that's the way that you felt but here See, is that's it. the wrong way to no, apologize no, 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 not, i'm not sorry that you felt that way not necessarily that's not an apology. Yeah, no, 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 don't say that but Damn. no but there is this thing that i find <laughs> happening in relationships this happened to me recently mm-hmm. where somebody didn't 
like what I did uh, on my own time with my own decisions. Not, not a thing we ever talked about. Mm-hmm. This is the, this is where it becomes. I need specifics because a thing you know, that I'm, I'm I did. Get yeah. No, I'm going to get there. So I think what happens is we have these expectations in our head for mm-hmm. what you can and cannot do. And then sometimes if you, if you don't uh, express those to your partner mm-hmm. and then they do mm-hmm. the thing, now you pounce on them right, for doing right. the thing that you never Communication, said. Communication, man. Right. It's a breakdown. So I, uh, I'm a very, uh, I'm like a germy dude. So like sometimes it's, it's like, uh, and I don't like like a lot of like like dander. I'm not a cat person, so I'm at a friend's house. You like to be clean. Yeah. Okay. I'm at a friend's house. I'm in a cat situation. <laughs> oh, and I, a and cat I, situation. And I just like see all the cat stuff. Yep, I'm like this yep. isn't good. And yep. so I take my, all my clothes off. And I hang them up away from the cats because I don't want to sit on anything. I don't want to leave all cats. So that you're naked in the so cat naked, space. And then, and then on top of that, like uh, um, there was like an apron that had like a, that had like a big like fake dick on it. So this is gonna be hilarious. Oh, fuck Put yeah. the apron on. I'm actually covered, but I am naked, but I'm covered, but it's a fake but dick. But but if you sit anywhere, then I, well, then yeah, there's just a little bit of like of like cat underwear like thing. Uh-huh. But it's not the rest of my clothes. Okay, I see. So it's a it's a, it's a risk I'm willing to take. I but see. Yeah, but mostly I'm not. Yeah, risk sit reward. I got you. Um, but I'm just hanging out with my friends. Like it's like four hours between. I'm gonna. I'm, I had a pretty ho- high profile uh, for me interview set up. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to lose that chance and right. I had something to kill time. Right. So the the, the the woman I'm seeing sees photos oh, of me so on you're Instagram. Seeing someone, huh? It was then. This is why. Oh, okay. It's not anymore. <laughs> so it's why she sees this thing on Instagram. Uh huh. And I put it on Instagram. Therefore, I have no shame in my. Right. Game. Right. You're not I didn't trying think to hide there was it. Anything wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not lying to you. Um, You're talking about the dick apron. You put the dick apron on Instagram. Yeah, so I'm you know, naked in a dick apron. We'll come back to this, but yes, okay. Okay, uh, you can, well, we, we, let's address the naked dick. No, I just want to talk about how you could put an, a dick apron on Instagram, and I would get banned for that shit. Um, I don't. Nobody's look again. Nobody's looking <laughs> You're at right, my shit. Right, Dan. Nobody. Whatever how many followers you, <laughs> you have. You can do whatever you want in the dark. <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> nobody's <yeah>. watching. <laughs> um, so why would you put a dick apron on? They would ban you. Oh, fuck yeah! I've been shut down three times on Instagram. It was such a since car- I've talked to it you. It was such last. a cartoon dick. Yeah, how do you keep getting people back? I don't even have an Instagram anymore. You don't. I mean, I do, but it has no f- as one follower because I've only told one person about Hilarious. it. Hilarious. And I can tell you because nobody listens to this. Yeah, shit. no matter anyway. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> My um, teacher Lexi. My teacher Lexi. That's a new okay. one. Has um, one follower in her are you, pictures. Did you, do you have a goal? Do you have a goal to? Get, you don't care. You don't want it to go back up. I I just say I don't care, but I care so much, and that's right. the problem. This is the problem. They have us by the fucking they reins. Do and because it's like, so many and things. They de- can decide what to do. So I was ch- I, like uh, I was hitting marks with my with my follows mm-hmm. and with the, my videos, and I was starting to put more content out. I bought these cameras, yep, all the yep, thing, yep. and then this week, all my shit is like being suppressed. It's like all my numbers are, are like are like uncharacteristically on uh, like 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 verifiably yeah. low. So I'm starting to just delete shit and like go back to what and then it's like I'm gonna try again next week. But like who knows? They can put you in the box and yep. then they penalty box man. And then they lie and they say that that doesn't exist. They say yeah. there's no shadow banning. Lies. Other Fucking things. Well, I don't want to get banned of all. So you can't have the word porn stars in any of the things I that know, you I do. Up. I You're picked fucked the worst up. title for my <laughs> podcast. Uh, I couldn't even put the word porn on the live show. Like you can't no. put an event called no. porn stars or comedians. So no. I, I fucked up. I changed the name of the show to People Are People. Um, <laughs> so what happened was. Um, we we meet up that night and mm-hmm. she's like she's angry with me that I was like naked and wearing this apron and then something. Were you at I a girl's house her. doing this? This was a woman. It was a friend of mine. Uh, um, okay. But this is somebody who was like like kind of in this industry. Uh huh. So she's of course she's a dick apron. Are you kidding? <laughs> of course. No 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 not no not that one. The, oh, the, one I was the girl you're seeing. Okay. She's kind of in this <laughs> industry. So she's even more like pro like sex positive yeah, pro yeah, whatever yeah. like should should be in line. And so what happened was she started no fault of her own to try to put me in a situation where I would feel the way she feels. Uh-huh. And oh, I think and that's I think bad. this and I think this is the wrong way to apologize. That's I think this is the wrong way to discuss it. I think all you have to do is say this 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 didn't make me comfortable. I don't like the way this happened Bingo. and that's enough for me. Yeah. Is if you tell me those things then now I'm like okay, well then this is this let me tell you what the actual situation. This is why I don't feel the same way you feel. Right. But I'm sorry for, for But you've for made it clear that that behavior. is how you feel and therefore the, as you know the partner you're like, "Oh, I, have I, to be I understand. Of that. I understand like the, the logic right. is there." Or I can I right, the choices now are I'm I make it clear that I don't give a fuck about right. your feelings right. and then it's over or I say, "Okay, do a fuck your feelings and let's fix it." Yeah. Um, exactly. Oh. But they You'd were be a good relationship person. The, they're trying to solve the thing by making me feel the way that I felt. No, and that's bullshit. And then they're bullshit. just making it really ugly. And I was like, time out. I can't feel the way that you felt because I did the thing. I didn't think there was anything wrong yeah. with the thing because I know, like, I know what's in my heart and I know, like, the truth of the situation and the, um, the, the security of the situation. When we're done, I want to know who it was. 
<laughs> okay, I can tell you. Um, <laughs> but so yeah, so it was. Um, it, and there's more stories about uh, about this individual. But um, but yeah, I'll, I'll tell you another one after yeah. this. Some off off cast off cast with uh, people or people off cast. Um, BTS. So so yeah, so that's but that's my thing. I think I think your apology needs to be. Real. So the apology that I got two days ago from the person who left me hanging was in public. And it was like, and then I started to like, to like, I started deconstructing the apology. I wasn't ready to take the conversation. Right. So I was just like, oh, no, don't worry about it. And I would, but I was in another conversation. Uh. And then they were making it like, oh, he's still really mad at me. I could tell on his face. But so they made it like a show. They made it a spectacle. Oh, no. And so it wasn't, so then I was like, I was like, re, I was like deconstructing that. I was like, that's no. not an apology either. And then I sent a text, hey, if you really want to talk about it, I'm totally open to talk about it and nothing right. back. So it's right. like, yeah, that's done. Bridge burned. Show, show, yeah, just like a, um, a, that's a so public apology. That's so shitty. Like, don't, they basically I, like put you in a position where you had to play by their rules for their apology, and if you didn't, right. then you looked like the asshole. Well, I'm an asshole, right? Yeah, they yeah. they've set you up. Yeah, in in all the ways, and yeah. So I came out a week early, g- got shows, missed, um, literally mixed e- mixed expos to come mm-hmm. be here, um, which all these things are fine. I'm a grown up, yeah, I, and yeah, I solved yeah. the problem, right? But then uh, once I've solved once I solved the problem, I was like, hey, I just want you to be just tell me what happened, like be mm-hmm. real. Everything leading up to this has been like we're pretty open and real with each other, so just be that now, and then we're good. Um, like okay, th- like this happened the other day. I went on a hike with a with, with a friend the other day, and um, she like passed out mm-hmm. on the way out of the hike, like like physically like knocked out yeah and so i had to drive us to her i don't know where she lives so i had to drive us so i was like, going through her shit to like find out where she lived got her back to her <laughs> house i woke her up, up. <laughs> i woke her up and i was like hey like um we're at your house like what the fuck like um what's wrong with you how what do i do, I, do? How do I fix you yeah. should we go to the hospital yeah. no everything's fine go inside uh i'm like i'm kind of like should i leave is she fine she's like let me clean up real quick then i like don't hear anything so i go check on her her legs are like kicking and she's passed out again so what i'm like fuck. fuck so i cook a bunch of eggs and i like four i like feed her eggs and i feed her like uh this sounds like somebody pizza <laughs> needs like some kind of meds right <laughs> and so i don't know what's going on i'm texting him like do i get the fuck out of here like is this is it is it which one's You're wrong like, is it which illegal one's to yeah. leave her <laughs> which one is wrong and so 20 minutes go by and she just comes downstairs like everything's cool like nothing just happened and, and she go, didn't pass out twice and i go bro you were dead a minute ago you have to tell me what <laughs> happened right, yeah. i i'm I, uh, i'm owed an explanation <laughs> right. at this point you have to tell me what happened she's like oh ha 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 no 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 and i was like yes, yeah yeah you yeah need bitch. To tell me what happened this is not okay <laughs> no. so then finally she got over the embarrassment of the situation and like told me what happened what happened um to, like double down on her meds uh oh. we didn't eat because we were hiking all day yep. and yep. then whatever Combination metabolism the took yep, over sure. knocked out um but then when she said that because like through all of the t- periods of time from when she passed out and then pretending like it didn't happen and then wasn't telling me was just like uh, the amount of time where i'm panicking inside being like i can't trust this person with yeah any part of my life we can't have a relationship ever just tell me the truth and then we're good and then she did we good and we went to dinner and we we're fine um but it's that it's those moments of just be the real person with me yeah or you are the most dangerous person absolutely that could be in my life I find that is very true with porn people. Like if you're out s- on Twitter saying that you're fucking the Uber driver, I need to know that it's fake. Okay. You know, is like, that a thing? yeah, people are doing content with Uber drivers and oh, I don't I know, know if they're set up, you know, like you set it up with your friend Uber and he's the Uber are, driver Uber or if they're actually, if they're actually fucking Uber drivers, because if they're actually fucking Uber drivers for Snapchat and they're doing it without protection, that's putting everybody else at right, risk. Yeah. But if you're, if you're fake Uber drivering, then I totally support that yeah, if you're yeah, checking yeah. tests. Interesting. Because then, like, if they're on my call sheet the next day, I got to be like, sorry, I saw her fucking an Uber driver She's last night. Like, I can't Uber do it. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel you. It is fine. I like this. I like this weird. I like this weird. Like, there's, like, Uber drivers watching. It's like, fuck you, man. I'm clean. <laughs> right. Yeah. Look, Uber driver, you're only clean, as clean as your last 14 day test. <laughs> right. Um, and even then, it's sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. The um, but it's so what's funny is that uh, uh, I don't know why Uber Uber drivers are getting late. It's like it's a lane. People uh, people are joining Uber as dudes in New York so they can get late. Like this is the shut thing the fuck up. Fucking Uber drivers. I don't know why it is. Well, they're not yeah. doing it in L.A. because we just passed AB five, which is this law that classifies Uber right. drivers as fucking employees. Right, right. So, uh, <laughs> so, so they're not doing it in, in yeah. L.A. <laughs> so, the, uh, but so I it was so much so that I was writing a bit about it, but then I ended up in South Africa, and it's so. Uh, that's such a, a, a class system there is just mm-hmm. so much different. So like if you're an Uber driver, which their thing is like taxify, there's no way 
than anybody's fucking you because yeah. it's like you're on the bottom of <laughs> the, the barrel. Of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, so then I tried to do the joke in South Africa, and they were like, "No, no. nobody's fucking nobody's Uber drivers." Fucking them. But I was like, I was really, oh. I was fixated on this thing about like, how do you get laid as an Uber driver? Like, mm. how good is your like back of the neck game? Right. Like, how good are you hitting on women? You don't need your face. Like, how? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's my face doing that and well. My discussion is the is the part that 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 wins the person yeah. over. I don't know how I don't know like, how you're here. Oh my gosh, you should do a podcast where you literally talk to somebody <laughs> backwards. <laughs> like backwards yeah. like your face. Everyone has started the Uber the Uber podcast I think at this point. Really? I don't know anything about the podcast world, so yeah. you have to Neither excuse do I. me. I I I've you're never like, listened I've never listened to a podcast. I've listened to one, I but I stopped like within 10 minutes. I yeah, was like, I, this, I need to, to see these one. people. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why people listen to this slash. I know why people don't listen to this one. <laughs> <laughs> How many listeners do you have? 11. Uh, a whole 11. 11's yeah, a good I'm a number. Shout out right now to my mom, my dad, my cousin, <laughs> yeah. and my brother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Four no, of the eleven. I did. I did take a hiatus because I because I did. I I fucked up my travel time, and I really was worried that whoever was subscribed would like uh, get upset and bail. Mm-hmm. But uh, we, I've I've maintained those those few those few select people. That but also, involved. people will subscribe and forget you. So For sure. like you have subscribers and they they were organic, but they're no longer listening anyway. Maybe. So it's not like they're gonna unsubscribe. Yeah. And they're like, I'm annoyed. Unsubscribe because yeah. you're not posting. There's a regular number of people that have that whose phones have accidentally <laughs> <laughs> downloaded the content uh, by Wednesday. <laughs> And then there's the and then there's the jump that I get from whoever else sharing it that comes Wednesday to Friday mm-hmm. that seems sort of whatever. But I'm not smart enough to synthesize the numbers yeah, and really figure that's out. That's a how lot to do of this. data. And then by the time I'm done doing a bunch of these, I'm burnt out and then I just want to go tell dick jokes. So it's a lot of it's it's a weird life I lead. <laughs> so when do you return to LA? Monday. I'm back on Monday. Okay. And I'm staying here. Like it's a fool's game to check out Sunday. Fools. Because everybody's Because you're hungover from the show. And not yeah. that I drink, but like you're tired from the show. Yeah. It's a, it's an 11 p.m. midnight type of thing. If yeah. you go to the after parties, it's even later. Right. But like checking out Sunday, you check out at what like 10, 11. Yeah. You're fucked. And then where are you gonna go on Sunday? Because your flight's not till later. Uh, so you're right? gonna sit at the fucking airport. Right. Ugh, I and think fucking that's gamble. Yeah. That's boring. When I came the first year, I got I left as the award show was going on because there's because there's oh, wide open flights. There's yeah. Like and there was nobody. It was great. Yeah. I bailed. So you bailed on, on the that. thing that you came for. Well, I wasn't allowed to go to the awards show. Oh. So yeah. You weren't allowed? No. I, they, they don't let pr- Oh, I'm you didn't pr- have I'm a ticket. Press. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have a ticket. Okay. So I, um, I've um, sorted it out this year. This is my first year I'm going to the awards. Oh, exciting. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, somebody's date. <gasps> Ooh. Um, yeah, we're going to have a conversation off camera. Yeah, I'll catch up. I need to catch up with you, like, for yes. real, for real. Um, now that this isn't real, because like we're totally talking about real for shit. For real, for real. But this is yeah, this is some uh, you don't get to know some shit, shit. Yeah. Um, well, so okay. So what else? So what? So where did you move to in L.A.? What's the? We're the Woodland Hills. Okay. Porn Valley. It's Porn Valley, right? Porn Valley is fucked. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What have you found in the three years since we've last chatted? Mm-hmm. Um, how have you figured out how? Like, how are you staying up with what's going on? Are you were you ahead of the game on anything? Were you behind the game on anything? How much different is it than you thought it would be? Mm-hmm. I'm definitely behind the game every day. <laughs> like there's never a time when I'm like, oh, my work is done, oh, or right. you know, like. But that, that's kind of the nature of the game because there's always more content to be posted. There's always more content to be shot. You're never really done with the day. But it also just speaks to your work ethic and your and your like uh you your like energy to just like mm-hmm. try to get on top of Gotta it. Gotta do it. You never feel like when you're like I a never feel like I'm person, done. You never feel like you've you've achieved it. But I also feel very accomplished. And that's yeah. kind of the, the fine line. Whenever I was teaching elementary school I never felt I always felt like I was drowning in work and never getting anywhere. Yeah. But at least now I feel like I'm drowning in work but I'm also like like let's be real work is dick so i'm just drowning in dick yeah. <laughs> so it's not that bad but i also you know i see title. the numbers in my only fans i see the numbers on my pr- on my websites i see all the the data that's there and i feel like oh my gosh because people want to see me yeah. consistently like yeah. month to month they're resubscribing For sure. and they like my stuff and they're liking it and they're commenting and they're tipping and all this kind of stuff so it's it's nice to feel like you've made it in yeah. some way um it's definitely i wasn't focusing on the right things i wasn't focusing on my own content but I think at the beginning, I wasn't ready to focus on that yet. I wasn't able you to be like sort of accepted by the industry. Yeah, I a huge That's imposter syndrome. Step. I have yeah. huge imposter syndrome where I feel like I don't belong. Everybody's doing so much better than me. And they're not like everybody's just faking it. Yeah. We're all faking it. Yeah. Well, I feel I felt that way as because I'm, I'm only peripherally involved. So mm-hmm. it's like it wasn't until Sarah J stepped into the aisle at uh, Exotica. I was mm-hmm. like, are you going to pass me again without saying hi? 
that I felt like I had actually made any kind of impact in this thing. And when she did that, I was like, okay, cool. Like I'm supposed to be here yeah. or like I've done the work yep. to be here. Uh, and then that kind of changed the thing. And then it also made it not, uh, less important to me to, uh, to go do all the other shit. Yes. So it's like, I'm here. I'm here l literally for the fact that like this is, I can get the most work done in the fastest amount of time. Exactly. Cause everybody's here. Um, and the rest of it is not really like, it doesn't interest me that much. Yeah. Just like going to a comedy club Christmas party doesn't interest me, you know. Going to the white party, for right. you said for the photo, that's cool. For the cool. photo is great because but I, I know need I'm the publicity. I know I'm not going to have that much fun inside. It's just loud. Although there's no reason for me to be there, really. I, there's yeah. no up for me. Yeah. Although this year, I don't know if I ever, I never verbalized, I'm starting to verbalize it these last couple episodes. Um, one of my short-term goals of the podcast mm -hmm. was to be able to host AVNs. Host? This is the first year that they don't have a comedy host, which which scares me. Really? Because they've picked some comedians in the past that I, maybe I wouldn't have had at this particular award show because some of these people, their their jokes are predicated upon saying a, a, a taboo sexual act, which won't work in a group of people whose livelihood is, is taboo that, sexual yeah. acts. You're not, you're not, there's no, um, there's no like catharsis to that. They go, that's like, yeah. oh, and then I did this turn. You're like, okay, and then that's foreplay. And then what? One. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then? But, then. but a group of people in like Missouri, they're like, oh my God, ha ha. Right. You know? That is the joke. Um, no, you're right. I think back to the comedians in the last three years that I was here, and it was just a little like, ah, uh, just missed right the mark. The just yeah. missed the mark. Yeah. But that's also when I did, I, so I hosted and mm -hmm. wrote the Inked Awards, and so I just did my regular act, and mm -hmm. then the stuff that was like particularly sexual, I just re, I just reframed it just a little bit, and then made it a little bit more like inner crowd, like we're involved in it, not that it's crazy that other people are doing it, and then it, uh, and it worked. Yeah, um, but you also have a different scope, like you see us differently, and you've talked to enough of us, yeah. and you understand, like you've been in this world, or at least you've dipped a toe into this world yeah. enough to see. These comedians have never been to Avian. Yeah. They've never been around sex workers. Right. And I think you do this thing as a comedian. Well, I think most of these people stayed, stayed tight to their acts, though. Yeah. I, mean, I think they didn't, they didn't change. And I, but I'm the same thing. I wouldn't change my act, but my, but my whole brand is not to just try to push the sexual exactly. limit. Exactly. Um, and I would understand that this is not maybe the crew to do it with. Um, Gotta know your audience, man. Yeah. What is that? What's the, that's the first rule of public speaking? I don't know. First rule of banging a porn star. Know your audience. The first rule of banging a porn star. So it does. It. So it does. In. Uh, it does scare me that they're not using a comedian this year because that makes me think that maybe. Yeah, but they're also they also have two musical guests, and. In the past, musical guests have been like, the main attraction. Yeah. But I don't feel like, I don't know, I just, I don't want to say anything bad about anybody, but at the same time, like, it's, we need to freshen it up a little bit. Yeah. Like, do something different. Sure. I mean, first, I mean, first, you're going, so, so like, so once well, I go. Well, you can see them all on once Showtime. I, once I, yeah, that's true. Once I go and watch, though, and I'm part of the thing, then I, then I really know, like, what my, yeah. what my, um, my, like, pitch to try to make this thing happen is going to be. Yeah. So. And it might just be that you don't require money. Yeah, well, I don't. I don't. Like, no, I, do I don't require free. money for anything. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck for free. I talk for free. I, I joke for free. <laughs> I make this podcast and have made not a dollar. Not it's a dollar. Not a dollar. <laughs> so uh, yeah, everything. It's com and comedians are already used to working for free. True. That's a fucked up. It's a fucked up world we live in. We live in a very different world. Yeah. Very yeah. There's different. nobody. Have you ever been asked to fuck for free on camera? No. Never. Never, not right. once. <laughs> Comedy is the only art form where they think that they don't have to pay you. I know. It's I'll get an email and it's funny. like, hey, we have this benefit. And I go, cool, cool, cool. What's the budget? You know, it's a benefit. Yeah, I understand, but I'm still, uh, I'm like, I'm still. Are other people getting paid? Yeah. Is the food coming for free? Yeah, like, right. what is happening? Did you call the you caterer and be like, no, 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 you don't understand. It's a benefit. You rented the room. <laughs> pay me. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, what's the budget? But I'm finally, I'm finally getting to the, I'm finally like at a place in my career where I'm saying no to shit, which yeah, is cool. Yeah, that's it's a good. Fun place to be. I am kind of there too. Nice. I, it's only out of like extreme disdain or necessity that I do it because I don't ever believe that like I should say no to a gig because like it's one more way for me to get out there. It's one more yeah. scene. It's one more, sure. you know, ring on my, on my ladder. But <laughs> if it's something that I really don't want to do or if it's something that's too extreme, then it's like, is this helping my brand? What are the extremes? Like, I don't want to do super extreme, like uh, family stuff. Like family role play stuff. Okay. Like what's super extreme? Like family play? foster kid type <laughs> okay. of yeah. Right? I can't like. You're weird. It just hits home too much because really? you know I I I worked with a lot of those kids yeah. when I was yeah, teaching, yeah, yeah. so it just I can't. Yeah. 
I don't think it would be it would be very off brand for me to sexualize that. Sure. By the way, I have a um, I have a uh, a ten year old boy that sends me jokes now and yeah, Instagram, like like uh, a couple times a week. It's very fun. fun. Do you I say them online? I send him back jokes. No, yeah. no. Do I do, do I what? Do you like say his jokes out? Like, no, no. Like I don't want. I, I don't think it's. I don't think it's appropriate. Right? Like it's like it's already no, feels weird. No, no. You could be like one of my fans sent this joke. Oh, okay. And he would know, but you wouldn't but have to be like this ten year old who's in my DMs. But I, t- <laughs> <laughs> but I tell him. But I also tell him like kid jokes. So the but the the my favorite one that I sent recently was it was uh. uh uh, Grasshopper walks into a bar. Bartender goes, um, "Hey, we have a drink named after you." And the grasshopper goes, "You have a drink named Steve." <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna tell that to all his fourth grade friends. <laughs> yeah, I love that joke. No, but then the person who's facilitating him sending the thing was like, "I don't think this is an appropriate joke for kids because it has a bar in it." Okay. And I was like, "Fuck you." Look, maybe you shouldn't be letting your ten-year-old talk to a fucking thirty-year-old. Right, you, you, you facilitated this <laughs> yeah. in the first place. Maybe you should be checking those line. DMs and not him. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> now it's the line is the bar. The bar, whatever. Um, but yes. Yeah, so what was he gonna walk into the cafeteria? Yeah, I don't know, but, but like, how do you make that? Horse walks into a bar. Bartender says, "Why the long face? You're not getting kicked out of school for saying that no. joke." That's a good joke. Uh, I don't know anymore. We got a lot of. Got we are. We're in this. Of, we're in this safety. Uh, uh, what are they called? This cancel culture. You have the, sa- mm-hmm. this, the the politically correct, which isn't politically correct anymore. We have this. This like. Uh, 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 poli- what's the other one? Um, we're just over the top, mm-hmm. protective of things that that we say still in public. Like it's in like private. the Christmas song this year that they rewrote because it promotes rape. John Legend. No. The one, uh, baby, it's cold outside. John Legend. Is it? John I don't Legend know. I don't know who redid it because I refuse girl. to listen to that shit. Yeah. Because let's be real. It's a song about this guy who's trying to get her to stay because he likes her. Like, think about when this was written. Your grandparents loved this song. Yes, but but uh, but you could argue that everything that happened in the 1950s and 60s was very rapey also. Yes, but like that's also part of that gener like it's the cu- it's cultural. It's very cultural. So wait, so you're against the rewrite. I'm against the rewrite for the fact for the for the position of it promotes rape. I'm against. I'm against the um, the outrage. I don't think they wrote okay, it in I mean, that realm. Maybe I think that's they were, what I mean. I think they were just trying to update it. I'm with you on on what you're saying, but I think the the intent was more the. And then they tried to reposition it because people got mad that they rewrote it, and they're like, "Well, this is actually kind of a pervy song." So yeah. like <laughs> they were they were they were looking at the lyrics. And, and like, how many years pervy. did it take us to get to this is a pervy song? How many Christmases have we been listening to this? Yeah, shit? but the point was, if they re-recorded it exactly the way it was, it would have sounded bad. So they're like, "We can't." really do this <laughs> so, we had, so they updated it so they didn't look like you assholes. don't have to update it it's just it sounds great with the voices that originally made it you don't need to make it new that's that, the problem that's everybody's true. trying to benefit off of something that's that people true. love already i will agree with that the most that don't re-record the song yeah then. if the song is pervy uh, don't yeah just the let song. it die let it live or, or let die. It die yeah why well, I, I, this is yeah so every, when i was when i was a young comic and i thought every show had to be specific to that moment i would do mm-hmm. these christmas shows and i wrote all these jokes about fucking uh the 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 Santa uh, mom. I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus yep. and about like the consequences of what would happen. in Yeah. What about household. that? What if, about if that? He was kissing Santa Claus. Uh-huh. Like, why is this? Why was this cute and fun that this kid saw mommy making out with Santa yeah. Claus? Why is that not inappropriate? Yeah. Why aren't we rewriting that one? Oh, because it was cute. T- Timmy, go upstairs. Child <laughs> ignorant. Yeah, the child ignorance was was was, yeah, was but, cute. But a child watching porn. We don't let we let him, come on. Basically, you a know, child watching two adults have children, sex. That's you know, inappropriate. You know, children are watching porn. Look, I don't want to talk about the c word. <laughs> children. Children. No, unfortunately, it's it's almost <laughs> it's almost something like that. I try to block out of my Water head. Water him and watch him grow. Okay, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> you are cut off. <laughs> what children to be? What did you want me to do with that? Um, okay, so what else? Um, that's hilarious. Oh man. So the, okay, so well, so the, I don't know. It's we. It's, so you're on the right side of the outrage of that thing. But here's the problem, and this and this is a very clear uh, uh, example of it. Whenever there's a controversy, there's two sides, and mm-hmm. neither of the two sides have anything to do with what's happening, and mm-hmm. neither of the two sides are right. So then it's like you try to bring like a balanced opinion, and mm-hmm. then it looks no. like you're doing the other one. Yeah. So I was on a chat with somebody once, and my perspective on trans culture was. We're never telling trans people to accept themselves. At any point in the process, right. we're never telling them to accept themselves. And then that sounds like don't get surgery. And then that sounds yes. And then that sounds like I hate trans people. Right. And, and that in I'm reality, and you're just trying to empower trans people in the well, whole process. Point, yeah. At some point, you got to go. I love myself, and I love what I have. Yeah. And then that's but that's the that's the piece missing. Yeah. Like, like in I'm whatever area a, you're in, like whatever level of or whatever space in your 
in your transition yeah. you are love that space yeah. and it well, doesn't have to be permanent right but even but even as a cis male uh, uh gendered like all the things white all mm-hmm. i've been told <laughs> to appreciate those things about myself mm-hmm. and i don't think we're saying that to people in those communities yeah. i think we're saying well whatever you want to do because i don't know because i'm just a person in missouri right you can like the most balanced woke thing is to go do whatever you want which is not helpful no because it's it's not specific enough and it's just and then you can spiral if you're someone who who's who's not who who hasn't been able to accept those those pieces and fit in find mm-hmm. where it is so um the two the two perspectives are never fully and that's the thing as a comedian i know there's no actual answer right which makes it tough yeah because there's really no way that you'll ever be right if you comment on it in yeah a show. well because you're all right and you're all wrong so as a comedian you either just go for the joke uh or you or you or just you, or you perish just steer clear <laughs> <laughs> um uh, what have you been up to in the last three years? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm. Uh, I've, I've. You've been comedian. I've, I've comedian. I'm comedian. Comedian. Uh, I've. 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 I've raised my. I've raised my price. Yeah. I've, realized, I've gone to South Africa several times. That's cool. Uh, I've realized it? certain things about my career and certain things. Uh, like so, when I go to South Africa, mm-hmm. I got immediately ja- uh, jammed in with the the, the particularly celebrity level comics on those mm, same shows. Look at you. So that felt good. But that just made me realize that but I should like be living that lane here. Big fish, small pond. <laughs> it is. It is. But it also. Um, but I also. But it's because I have. Uh, once you hit ten years in comedy, you've sort of you've you've gotten to the mark. You know, I feel like that's true in porn too. Yes. Like when you hit ten years, you get to tattoo triple X on your body. Somewhere. You're a veteran. It's done. Ten years in either of these fields, you're a veteran, mm-hmm. and then just you, just because you hung out long enough, yeah. and it's not even <laughs> you that. survived. Yeah, because it's not because it's not, and it's not that you've gotten. It's not that you've not gotten better, and it's not that you're not uh, do the thing. It's like if you're in the thing for ten years, you're gonna have figured it out by now. Yeah, because you would have quit. Yeah, it would have gotten too hard. You're right. So if you're in you would have needed years, money. You could have. You must have figured out how to make money. Yeah. You must have figured out how to gotten like figured out how the audience like mm-hmm. likes you. Um. So those things happen. But then all that happened re- was there was like, I realized that like I'm only a phone call away in South Africa from getting onto a TV show that's filming tomorrow. Right. So then I. So then the first your first thought in your head is you go oh I should just move to South Africa. And just crush it here. Yeah, but, but then, then the you're second like, thought is, but then I don't. Fuck you! Why don't? Why can't I do it in the bigger market? Yeah, uh, I should be a phone call away in the bigger market. So uh, I'm. I'm. You should do the show. I should what? You should do the show. I should do what show? In South Africa. This show. No, the the show that you oh, were I phone did call away from. Yeah, no, I did. I did that oh, show. Oh, I did the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, I was a guest. So like, I went on. So my third day in South Africa, I'm on a show where they're where they're introducing another comedian who has less experience than me, and I'm the expert who's going to comment on his set. Look at you. So it was like, well, as soon as that thing airs, I'm all like, when I go to South Africa, I trend out of control. No shit. Because I'm all because I'm. See, I'm, this is I something I didn't know. This is what I wanted yeah. you to tell me that yes. you've been doing in three years. Yes. I'm trending in fucking yes. South Africa. But then I come back to New York, and the people look at me like, "Who the fuck are you? Uh, <laughs> you were you were gone for six months. Don't you live in South Africa?" So right. This is like, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's no, no winning. Win here. There's, <laughs> there's no, no win. winning. <laughs> so all I've realized. It's bur- the industry forgets you very quickly. Well, and huh? the other the other problem with this field is that, uh, and this is part of the reason why the podcast exists, is mm-hmm. that uh, you could start in comedy tomorrow and have a better career than me because you've cultivated a following somewhere else. Right. So my my uh, it's like there's no there's almost no like reward to having gotten good at comedy. The reward is get famous for something else and then sidestep into comedy. Be a professional wrestler, right. then do comedy. Be a professional be a, wrestler, then be an actor. Be a guy who was on um, like. Survivor and then do comedy. True. Be true. a porn star and then do comedy. Like those yeah. people get to sell out rooms, and I'm still over here being like, "But I'm pretty good at this now. Yeah. I figured it out." So that's what's happened. You should try um, going for the for Expos or Cam Unity or Why Not Cam Awards yeah. comedy. Well, so for me, it's more like I've been trying to not have to be at all the conferences, but I, I am gonna I am gonna try to hone in on the lane. I'm gonna hone in on some of this like like safer work content on some yeah. of these sites. Try to figure out if I can cultivate some of those fans and things. Um, and I and I'm starting to realize uh, from a follower standpoint who I should be pointing at mm-hmm. um, and who to swing these people to. Mm-hmm. Uh, my goal is to get to like sex positive females mm-hmm. um, who want to hear this side of the podcast and also might want to look at me like that. Well, that would be like yeah, the so like goal some cute there. girls. Yeah, so I think some cute sex positive I females. Think <laughs> I've been denying my own sexuality. <laughs> Welcome to the world as, of everybody as else. A marketing <laughs> tool for a long time, and I'm gonna say fuck that. I'm gonna whore it out and like yeah, just I'm gonna start give it away titty. a little start bit, but not titty. too much because you want to get you want to get paid. Start showing some booty. 
I'm gonna yeah. open up my Dunkin' Donuts uh, uh, like uh, gift card thing to to dick pics. You know, whatever I got. Dunkin' do. Donuts. <laughs> yeah, that's Honey. How much, that's how much. Of, that's how much of a slut no, I am. I will show Dunkin'. cock for Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> gift cards. <laughs> maybe maybe you should just change that to Amazon. I, you, you're probably right. You have a, a, you yeah. could buy Dunkin' Donut gift cards with your that Amazon gift card. That is true. That is true. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I just want to get to the or point. Or maybe like Southwest so you could like fly to these gigs. Right, yeah. <laughs> I, would just, I just want to get to a point in my career where I can sell my socks. Is that too much to ask? Uh, oh, I sold pantyhose to today on the floor. Yeah, you, yeah I, I think we, we need to renegotiate your pantyhose rate. I know. My pantyhose rate was We're, low. Well, now we have to make a statue. But now you have a precedent. So now I do. So now it's never lower than that rate. Yeah, you can only go up from there. So you're in a good position with that. Um. All right, well, let's see. Plug all your stuff. How do we pay for your porn? Oh, I want Lexi.com. What is it? I, I want, want Lexi.com. Lexi L-E-X-I. D- yep, dot com. Um, very cool. So you everything's in one on, spot. Well, that's like my pay for my porn. That's my only fans. Okay. But it's just an easy, like, I yeah. want Lexi. Who doesn't want Lexi? Absolutely. So then my Twitter is Lexi Luna XOXO. And my Instagram, ugh, it's a constant struggle. But right now, it's my teacher, Lexi. It has so, no profile picture and so no what, pictures at all and one follower, but please go follow it. So your thought process <laughs> is by the time this airs, you might not even have that one? Is that like the That's that the like thought the process. Yeah. But also, it a wide plug like, if it but also I haven't posted anything yet. So if I can just get a bunch of followers to follow it blindly, like blind Lexi followers, yeah. if, I, if they keep hearing me say, my teacher, Lexi, yeah. maybe I'll just ha- end up with like 70,000 followers and I don't, haven't posted anything. Yeah. But you that'd know, be cool. I they're just know. ready and waiting. There's ready and willing. Yeah, I they're th- ready for that first post. <laughs> I think we all know now, um, as content creators, that we need to start to point to the lanes. There's that. There's that meme this week. You saw the one. It was. I it's. Uh, it's. Uh, it's. Uh, is it on Instagram? Because I don't have one. Well, no, no, no. But the <laughs> but the meme is LinkedIn. It's a, it's four panels. Uh-huh. LinkedIn, Facebook, uh-huh. um, uh, whatever the third one is. Oh, Instagram, Tinder, and it's and it's the same person okay. in different. Like like showing oh, it a okay, different okay. light, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's okay. how we need to. That's how as content creators we look at it. Like TikTok is very anti. I don't understand TikTok. So TikTok, I had like I had a booty a booty club contest with a porn star from Exotica, and TikTok wouldn't even let it post. Yeah, duh. So it's TikTok for thirteen is, year olds. Right? Are you kidding? TikTok is so anti porn. Instagram is 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 middle of the road. So Instagram you just gotta, is anti porn. Let's be so let, gotta, let's gotta be lean, real. So you got to lean into that zone. I'm leaning. So put the glasses I'm on leaning. and cover up the cleave. That's it. Uh, we take want, Lexi Luna out of anything. still want to follow you. Don't do the legs behind the head. I you don't. I mean? That's the problem. I didn't do any of it, Dan. I didn't do <laughs> well, any of well, it. Well, let's keep it as as uh, uh, S S F F S F W. Yeah, S F W. Safe the, for work. I can't do the acronyms. This is the Porn <laughs> Stars or People podcast. We're on uh, iTunes. We're on Google Play. Whatever thing you're on, we're on the other thing. We're sponsored by Spunk Lube. <laughs> we're rebroadcast by the Demon Seed Radio Network. We drop a new episode every Monday. We got some uh, YouTube content, and then I'm gonna challenge you to uh, Safe for Work. A uh, little challenge here. You got it. Uh, so challenge check that out me. on Instagram. Thank Fucking you guys for listening. Watch, follow her. Uh, Lexi Luna. Check out our Patreon. And uh, let us know what you want to see. Let us know what, you, what we should be doing. Thank you so much for listening and watching.